their 36 yard line. Here's Watson. That's complete. And now a fumble. The ball's out. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they'll start with great field position at the 41 yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it in. Looking to throw. Pick it. Johnson's got it complete. And Johnson going to have a Steelers first down as he'll get this down to the 30-yard line. First and 10. Here's Pickett. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Sione Taki Taki. Gets him for a loss of five. He is alive on third down. Working out of the gun, it's Pickett. Throw left side complete. That's Robinson. And he will have the Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Pickett back to throw. Open man, that's the tight end fire move. And the Steelers are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four yard line. Here's Pickett on second down. That throw finds Pickens in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. A great effort there. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Steelers take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Well, that's just how they do it. Watson now going to run the option right. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And How difficult it is for the center, because remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion, and sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. you got sometimes where he's coming at you. And now off to the races, down the right side. A big play that time for Cleveland. 45 yards. No surprise he was targeted on that play, because you and I both know quarterbacks like guys who can catch the ball, but they actually expect that. They love the guys who do something with it after the catch. Yeah, impressive making him. They'll set up to run the quarterback draw. Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. And now three drives, three fumbles. What's amazing about it is when we go around and watch practices, how many times do we see them put that sleeve over a football now to make it more slippery yeah, and hard to handle? Second and nine. Now Pickett will look to pass it. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. After the interception, here's Watson. He's got his receiver, Cooper. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside. The getting in the ball in the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. He's going to cover him well, the linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. They're able to convert on third down, and that's... Back to throw, Watson. And he is going to go down, back at the 11-yard line. And that would really push his goal. To throw is Watson. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Decent gain on the scramble of six, but now it's second and eight. Here's Watson. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 30. Just what the Browns need in their matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Pick it. Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Martin Miller. Sees him with a third and seven ahead. 
Watson now to throw. They'll roll him out right. It's so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds. Here's Watson. And he's got it. Touchdown, Browns. Donovan Peoples-Jones from a yard out. And the Browns will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. That could be an important swing right there. A touchdown in the final minute of the half to take, take the lead here with a touchdown. Man, open is Robinson. As they get into field goal range, down just shy of the 20. Dialing up another pass here. Pickett throws to his man on the other end. Following the penalty, Chum. And he'll be brought down right now. The body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Watson's throw taken in by Cooper here. And he'll have it past me. Yeah, now maybe bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? And to find the open man. That's complete. Down the right sideline. And in for the Steelers. Touchdown. George Pickens. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Steelers have got it back to within a score. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that's the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually you're looking for so now it's third down. Watson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big gain of 30 all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now they return to the ground game, Chubb. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That's over 40. So what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And the Browns are going to be set up with a first and goal as good running they start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. That's complete to Peoples-Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. It's a game. They come up first and ten. They go up the middle with Chubb. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. The 71 yards rushing now for are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Going for it on fourth down. Here's Pickett. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 29-yard line. Looking to throw, pick it. That's going to be caught. Touchdown. Deontay Jackson, 29 yards. And the Steelers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because it's only the two-minute warning to stop it from here on out. 
Back to throw, Watson. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago. So Cleveland able to come away with the victory here. And a little bit of a surprise, they lose the turnover battle, but wind up winning the ball game. And this is very unusual because you know all teams stress winning the turnover battle as a key indicator to winning ball games. So when you get something that goes against the grain like the one we saw here, it's quite the oddity. Now let's face it, they'll be very happy that they pulled this off, but they do know.